closure means uh, of course uh, we will take a set closure and set okay so let me first define let a be a here we are taking a and let a be a subset of a topological space x a b a subset of a topological space x if a is a subset of a topological space x then the closure of a then closure of a is actually the intersection closure of a is the intersection is the intersection of what intersection of all closed of intersection of of all closed superset of a of all closed supersets of a okay the closure of a is denoted by the closure of a is denoted by a bar okay so the closure is actually the intersection of all closed supersets of A. So this statement intersection of all closed supersets of intersection intersection of all closed supersets of A. This statement is very important and this is the main concept of closure of set closure set or closure of a set okay. So here in order to illustrate closure of a set it can be best explained by an example and I am taking over here the example example is just like as uh, set X is given it is X is equal to the elements in the set X or it is just like it is A B C D and A these are the elements in X okay and uh, if uh, we list the take the collection tau is the collection and in this collection the element are just like as it is empty set phi a and the second element is it is just like B the next is C there is another element which is a b a c a b a c and b c a b c Okay, now we take let A. A is equal to A, C and E. Okay, and we are taking B. The element in B are just like it is A, B and 
where is my okay a yes and b set b is a b and c okay and in c the element are just like c is equal to d e okay and the set d contains the element just like it is b c Okay, then the closed subsets of X are closed subsets of X are so these are the open sets. These are actually the open sets. Now we find the closed subsets of since of X since these are the open subsets subsets of X, and after taking complement, suppose if I take the complement of phi. The complement of phi are just like closed sets. Yes. Closed subsets of X. The complement of phi is X, and uh, the complement of A is. Uh, Yes, it will be complement of A will be just like B, C, D and A. Similarly, the complement of B is, it is A, C, D and A. And if we take the complement of C, then it will be A, B, A, B, D and E. And similarly, if we will take the complement of uh, A, B, it will be complement of A, B. It will be just like uh, C, D and E. Okay. Now we will take the complement of A C, it will be B, okay, D, B and D, okay, yes, B, D and E, also B, D and E. And similarly, when we will take the complement of B, C, it will be uh, A, D, and E and after taking the complement of A B C then it will be D and E okay and similarly the complement of X is high okay so these are the closed these are the closed subsets of X we want to find the closure of A closure of A closure of B and closure of C okay so which are the set in which first superset we want to find the supersets of A okay by the definition of closure of sets so which are the closed sets in which A contain okay so the elements in in A are A C A C and E so A, C and E, it is one of the set, A, C and E, and is there any other set? No. If there is set, then that is X. So A closure is equal to actually intersection of, intersection of closed supersets. Okay. So this is one of the supersets, which is A, C, D and E contains Inter and we will take the intersection between X okay because A is contained in X and in this set and after taking the intersection 
we will get what we will get we will get a c d and e okay now what are the elements in b the elements in b are a b c so b elements in so a b c look at these closed sets okay and in which closed sets a b c is contained so it is only contained in x okay so closure of b is equal to x only okay and uh, similarly the set c the set c contains the element d and e so d and e it is x okay the closure of c closure of c is equal to x intersection d e is contained in b c d e b c d and e okay intersection it is also contained in d e is contained in yes a c d e a c d and e with intersection it is also con d e is contained in also a b d e a b d and e and uh, d e also contained in just like c d e c d e you will write the intersection okay and this is also contained in d is also contained in with the intersection uh, yes b d e b with the intersection b d e and d a d e okay a d e and this is also contained in d e intersection with d e intersection with d e so our answer is after taking all these intersections okay only this element is common this set is common which is d and these two elements are common so closure of c is equal to d e okay and uh, now we will take uh, d okay so closure of d closure of d so what are the elements actually in d the elements uh, in d if you will see then d is equal to b c yes d is equal to b c so b c is contained in x this one is the element and uh, uh, yes there is no other element only bc so bc is contained in x and this if i write the closure of d over here okay then we can write as x intersection bc bc d and e and after taking the intersection we will get b c d and e so this is the closure of d hope you have understand this example and closure of set and uh, for more theorems uh, we can jump next we will do a theorem and this theorem is a little bit very simple not much more complicated the statement of the theorem is the closure of a subset of a subset a of 
for topological space is the smallest closed superset of A. the smallest closed superset of A. Now we start the proof of this theorem. The closure of a subset A of a topological space is the smallest closed superset of A. So what we want to do here actually we want to take the closure of a subset A of a topological space. Then what we want to prove? After taking the closure we want to prove that this closure is actually the smallest closed superset of A. Okay this we want to prove. Since the we know that it is only theory since the intersection of any number of closed sets is also a closed set so the closure of A being the intersection of its closed closed super, sub, super sets is a closed set and is a superset of A since the intersection of any number of sets is always a subset of each of the sets so the closure of A is the smallest closed superset of A is very simple 100% uh, it is it is theoreticals 100% it is theoreticals Okay, once again I am not writing this theory, uh, just explaining that uh, what it is. Since the intersection of any number of closed set is also closed, as we have proved it previously. Okay, so what? So the closure of A being the intersection of its closed superset is a closed set and is a superset of A. Okay, so this statement is once again much important that. Uh, so, the closure of A, which is being the intersection of its closed supersets, is a closed set and is a superset of A. Since the intersection of any number of set is always a subset of each of the sets, so the closure of A, of course, is the smallest closed superset of A, which complete the proof. Hope you have understand this theorem. Okay. Uh, Theoretically, I have explained it and now you can write it. Thank you very much.